Hello everyone, this is Shivangi Agarwal from Actuators Educational Institute. So IFO has recently released their hints and tips on examination and I have taken their points and I have also added a few important uh, points for you all to keep in mind before the examination starts. So the very first thing is do read the instructions which is always there on the front page of your question paper. There might be some instructions which might change from your previous exam so make sure to do that. Secondly, uh, always remember to go through the entire paper first and also read the last uh, page because I have seen there are some students who skip the last question or they might not uh, read the last paper of the exam examination paper and always see that there will be end of exam paper written uh, at the end of the question paper in every examination, right? Next thing is when you read your question paper, make sure you highlight some important keywords and at the same time, you can jot down some points in pen and paper while reading the question, right? This is known as planning your uh, exam paper beforehand, uh, planning your exam type basically. And next thing is you can give your uh, answers in any order you like, but make sure you do not skip any question in this process. So uh, make sure you answer all the questions, make sure you write answer numbers properly in bold. What I will suggest is that you write one answer in one paper, in one uh, page and you can move to the next question in the next page. And uh, if suppose question two has three subparts, they might be written in one page, but when you're moving to question three, make sure you do it in the next word page. It looks good, right? That is one thing. Second thing, decide how much time you will give or a lot, a lot to each question. If it's an MCQ, do not waste mo um, more than one, one or two minutes on one particular MCQ. Also, if it's a two mark question or it's a 10 mark question, allot the time accordingly, right? And also write the number of points accordingly for a two mark marker question do not uh, scribble for the entire page you have to write maybe th uh, three to four points for that and for a 10 mark question obviously you have to write minimum one to one and a half pages right next thing make sure you have sufficient time at the end to review your paper and to see whether you have answered all the questions or not it is very important to show workings clearly in all your answers uh, you might uh, get a wrong final answer but you will definitely get marks for the steps you have performed so always remember to give uh, steps in all your answers because you will receive those step markings right next thing is uh, use the full time available given to you during an examination generally uh, if you finish the exam 10 or 15 minutes before then please uh, read your answers and make sure you have uh, written it clearly and correctly the next thing is uh, the additional five minutes which is given to you to download the paper make sure uh, during that time you utilize for downloading and reading your entire question paper right this is very important also one more thing which you have to keep in mind is that it's an open book exam so do not waste your time uh, going through the material during your examination time because it is actually you are wasting your time doing so right so you prepare yourself very well do not waste time in searching for your answers uh, from these materials which are there now the few additional points which are there which i have added is that Firstly, you have to uh, switch off the auto save mode if it is there on your Excel and Word file. Make sure you do that and keep saving your work. Just after one answer, keep saving your work as you move ahead. Um, also, for those who have our programming CS1 and CS2, for you all, make sure you copy paste the graph into your Word. I have seen generally students forget to paste the graphs from R to Word and they lose four to five marks. So do not do that. Make sure you paste your graphs into Word before submitting. Next thing, very, very important is make sure you do the equipment checks. Okay. If you're appearing for two papers, for example, you're appearing for CM1 and CB1, then you have to perform equipment checks for both the uh, papers. There are three checks. One is the download check, preview check and upload check. Make sure you do all these three checks properly 
and if it's a cm or cs papers which has paper a and paper b you have to do uh, equipment check for paper a and paper b separately if equipment check is not done you will not be able to download your question paper on the examination day and there is no way ifoa will be able to help you so make sure you perform the equipment check for all the papers it is very important and once you do that you will see uh, that there is a button of equipment check which will show completed otherwise you will see a red bar on top of your uh, online platform which is given to you right next thing is do not create the word file before your examination time uh, because they will see your time stamp when the word is created or when the excel file is created and when it is last modified so my suggestion to you all is when you download the exam paper from the portal then only create a word file rename it using your arn your paper name and the term name uh, both applies to excel and word also make sure that you close your word and excel file maybe 2 to 3 minutes before the end of your examination time uh, so that you are on a safe side do not open the word and excel file again during the upload time the 15 minutes upload time which is given to you because uh, doing that will change the modification time and your time stamp will increase so time stamp is very important it is checked by ifoa before uh, sending the papers for review so make sure you do not create the word and excel file before and you close it just before 2 to 3 minutes to be on a safe side i said to close uh, the files 5 minutes before right that is one thing which you have to keep in mind uh, next thing very important for those who are appearing for cm1 and cm2 and cp2 maybe uh, you have excel files which is given to you by ifoa in a zip folder make sure you unzip all these files before starting to write your answers why is this important because if you do not unzip your excel file and, and if you straight away start your working uh, in that folder you will not be able to save your work done in your excel file so make sure you unzip all your files before moving ahead right um, so this is base and lastly one more thing don't forget to give referencing to all your answers uh, my referencing video is already uploaded so make sure you go and check that referencing video uh, that's it all the best to everyone and if there are few more updates i will be keep uh, keeping you all posted thank you so much